my next question is about the life expectancy what do you expect does the patient expect to get cured or what are our expectations i want dr bharat to throw some light on this so when we are talking about these kind of advanced surgery of course as already highlighted that uh, these surgeries are associated with certain risks during the immediate perioperative period as well so when we are taking these kind of risks we should also be aware of what is the chances of uh, uh, long term survival after these kind of surgeries for these kind of cancers so if you look at the median overall survival in uh, ovarian cancer in the latest ov hypec trial uh, so they have talked at median overall survival of 45 months for patients who underwent cytorotective surgery with hypec versus 33 months for patients who underwent only cytorotective surgery so if i look at the 5 year overall survival uh, it transforms to 37% for patients who underwent cytorotective surgery with hypec versus uh, 17 months for patients who underwent only cytorotective surgery which indicates that these kind of procedures do help in giving us long term survival and good results to patients with these advanced cancers yeah I, as such i think what you are telling us is that you know see we are differentiating between no surgery versus only surgery and adding chemotherapy heated chemotherapy along with surgery so this is the difference which we are looking at and when we do only no surgery of course patient will not survive when we do surgery alone uh, there is a uh, survival of approximately you said 17 months 17 months that is a 5 year survival yeah uh, and when we do hypec there is a significant difference about 40% of them survive to 5 years so something like that so which means you know there is an advantage in performing a hypex surgery along with crs is what is the message which we are drawing <laughs>